Queen's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Nemzoitsk Variation, Nemzoitsk Attack. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, gains more control over the e5 square, and strengthens the d4 pawn. e6 prepares the d7 d5 pawn push while also opening up lines for the dark squared bishop. c4 gains space on the queen side and center, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. This prepares the bishop for development. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on g2, where it will sit on the long diagonal. BA6 immediately attacks the undefended C4 pawn, hoping to provoke B2 B3. QA4 develops the queen, defends the C4 pawn and attacks the bishop on a 6. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is the last book move. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. This misses a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. There were worse moves but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is best. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Right on target. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This overlooks an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. White still has an advantage, but they no longer have a winning position. It is a mistake. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. The rooks can see each other now, 
allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to take an open file with a rook. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. This permits the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This kicks an opposing knight. It is good. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is good. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is excellent. This reveals a check on the opponent's king. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of.